Good morning. It's Friday, June 2nd, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Life Patterns, and our scripture is 2 Timothy chapter 1, where the apostle wrote to his pastor trainee, Hold on to the pattern of wholesome teaching you learned from me, a pattern shaped by the faith and love that you have in Christ Jesus. Through the power of the Holy Spirit who lives within us, carefully guard the precious truth that has been entrusted to you. Patterns are useful. They're used to identify species of animals, birds, fish, and plant life. Patterns help us understand the ways our universe does things, like environmental change. We can only predict what the weather will be like because patterns repeat according to needed reordering of previous conditions. Hot and dry needs a cooling off and watering. Patterns drive ideas, such as how to hold things together more securely. Wood pieces that have screws to hold the frame tightly last longer. But the process of building the frame is useless without the screwdriver to make it work. Since the dawn of time, humans have wondered about the meaning of life, the purpose of our existence. Genetics, only recently uncovered, reveals untold billions of possibilities in patterns of hair that may be curly or straight, green eyes or brown, tall or short, strength, size, and workings of the brain. The list is endless. The discovery of patterns that exist is obviously hugely interesting. However, Curiosity satisfaction about patterns is only a doorstep into the skyscraper of the building of why patterns exist at all. The why is God's gift. Unlocking the patterns of our universe gave us atomic energy, art, scientific advances in medicine, conservation, evaluation of the mind, and again, the list is endless. Paul's advice to his young pastoral protege, Timothy, was to hold on to the pattern of wholesome teaching, shaped by the faith and love which Timothy had found in Jesus Christ. As with screws that hold wood together and number patterns that build computer programming, the love and faith to which Paul promised can be one of two things, useful or stockpiled. To illustrate, let's use the difference between a stockpiling collector and a useful craftsman. A collector collects whatever seems interesting to possess. A craftsman puts to use what is available to produce something worth having. In the metaphysical world of thoughts, philosophy, and theory, to be a collector is useful if you merely want to have a dusty library. A craftsman goes farther than the collector, putting the screws that he picks from the supply to join the wood pieces into a useful chair. This, then, is the backstory to Paul's advice to Timothy, to be God's craftsman, not a collector. In a follow-up letter, he told the young pastor to take God's word off of the shelf of the collectors and build it into the lives of people. 2 Timothy 2.15 Work hard so you can present yourself to God and receive his approval. Be a good worker, one who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly explains the word of truth. For you today, God gave us his word and marching orders, so be a craftsman, not a collector. Go, build some people up today. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.